Hello and welcome to my fourth video on the road to Venus Next. In this video series I want to talk about everything Venus Next related and give you all of my tips and tricks so that you're well prepared for the upcoming launch of the expansion on Steam. Today I will explain what I think are the top 5 worst cards in Venus Next that you should absolutely avoid or at least find a very good reason to play. And boy there are some absolute shitters in this deck. It was actually insanely hard to limit myself to 5 cards here. But please keep in mind this list isn't sorted, as I wasn't 100% sure which one was the absolute worst. Let's get started. For the first entry on this list I'm putting two cards together because of how similar they are. GHG import from Venus and Orbital Reflectors. Boy are these cards bad. To get the most out of them you'd need to play them early on since they grant heat prod but if you want to get efficient heat prod, there are so many better cards to play, like Mohole Area, Beam from Authorium Asteroid, or Saletta. I mean, even Import of Advanced GHG, a card that costs just 9 MC, grants the same amount of heat prod as Orbital Reflectors. Of course, you also get two Venus Bumps, but normally, when developing your economy, you don't want to be paying an insane premium on points. That's why Immigration Shutters, for example, is so bad. In the mid game, when you might have some titanium left or some discounts or rebates to get these cards down more cheaply, the heat prod has lost most of its value. In my experience, these cards are absolute garbage. Please don't play them. Imagine Equatorial Magnetizer, but you can only play it once you've reached 30 TR. That's what Venus Magnetizer feels like. Oh my god, this card is so bad. First of all, a power prod is worth 7 or 8 MC, and this card costs 7 MC itself, so for just one step it's just as effective as an SP Venus. So you'd need to use it multiple times. But there are not unlimited efficient power production cards. If you resolve to SPing power, you are done for. And anyways, why not use that power to play power hungry cards or increase the temperature? And the worst thing about this card is its requirement. There are just 5 cards that have a higher Venus requirement and most of them sit at just 12%. So using Venus Magnetizer to unlock these is pointless. The only really impactful card that has a much higher requirement is Venusian Animals. And that's also the only reason I see to be playing this card. If you have Venusian Animals and a few science tags on hand, as well as some card draw, you're basically fine with playing anything that increases the Venus parameter. But yeah, in all other scenarios, skip this card. Another card that's just way too expensive for what it does is Stratopolis. 22MC for 2MC prod and the ability to put two floaters on a different card? We can ignore the points you can theoretically get on Stratopolis because if you're putting these floaters on this card itself you're in bad shape anyways. You need to find a really good floater collecting card like Floating Haps for this to be somewhat worth it. But even then, it's just one point per gen and 2MC prod, Livestock does the same without relying on a different card has better combo potential and is way cheaper. Stratopolis is not a good card, believe me. For the next entry on this list I had to combine two similar cards again. Extractor Balloons and Forced Precipitation. There are actually more cards that are similar to these, so cards that let you accumulate resources and then spend them to increase Venus, but I think these two are the worst. Why? Because they are slow and expensive. With both, you need 3 gens to get a Venus Bump, since you need to put 2 floaters on the card and then remove them with a third action. Sure, Extractor Balloon starts off with 3 floaters already, but that gets me to my next point. The price. Extractor Balloons cost 21 freaking MC. What the fuck? For a card that you want to play in the early game, this is way too expensive. Force Precipitation on the other hand is cheap to play, but you pay 4 MC for every Venus Bump. That's insane. I hate these cards and the only redeeming quality is that they're okay for Hoverlord, especially Extractor Balloons. But that's not enough to play this garbage card. And lastly, what I believe is possibly the worst card in the entire expansion, Venus Soils. Similar to GHG import from Venus and Orbital Reflectors, you want to play this early to make the most out of the plant pot. But again, you're paying an insane premium for that Venus bump and in this case what's even worse, the microbes. The chance that you have a really good micro card down early is very low. It's kind of similar to AAA. Early on it's too expensive and you won't have a micro collecting card anyways and in the mid to late game the production is worthless. 
Also, this card reminds me why I think Aphrodite is such a bad call. Plants and Venus do not fit well as strategies. So these were my picks for the top 5 worst cards introduced by Venus Next. Do you agree? Or which cards do you think are the worst? Let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed the video and don't want to miss the rest of the road to Venus Next, then like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.